Welcome to Top 10 Everything. Today we are going to see the top 10 underwater ruins of lost civilizations. Number 10. Underwater Step Pyramid off the coast of Yonaguni-jima in Japan. Perhaps the first name connected to the underwater ruins at Yonaguni-jima off the coast of Japan is Masaki Kimura. The marine geologist has spent almost two decades studying the ruins. According to Kimura, there are clearly several artificial structures below the waves in the region. One of these even appears to be a complicated, monolithic, stepped pyramid. And what's more, this particular building is over 80 feet tall. Initially, Kimura would claim that the remains were likely evidence of Mu an apparently lost continent in the Pacific. He would even claim the dates of ruins to be around 10,000 years old placing them around 8,000 BC. He would, however, eventually revise these dates to around between 5,000 to 3,000 years old. Despite the revised estimate of the age, though, some researchers remain supportive of the initial estimation. Perhaps most notable of these is Graham Hancock. Hancock has also written of such ruins, most extensively in his book Underworld. We should also state that not everyone is even convinced the ruins are artificial structures at all. Boston University's Robert Scotch, for example, would state in 2007 that the remains were most likely all natural. Further study and investigation will likely continue at the site as will the debate as to what the real truth behind it is. Number 9. Bimini Road in the Bahamas. A lost road to Atlantis. Number 8. The apparent temples off the coast of Malta. Another location often spoken of with Atlantis can be found off the coast of Malta. The discovery of the underwater temples of Jebel Golbaha took place in the summer of 1999. What perhaps makes the location intriguing is that the person who made the find is a retired businessman, and not a scientist. Hubert Zeitmer found the remains around two to three miles off the coast of St. Julian's. He is also, however, a follower of the writings of Zakaria Sitchin, and this is something which has led to many people dismissing his finds as ancient astronaut and nonsense. To date, no official dating or studies have been made of the ruins, however, many have managed to perform unofficial research, and this suggests that the remains could be many thousands of years old. And what's more, it is likely, some claim, that the entire area was once inhabited before a major flood hit the region, some researchers even go as far as to say the area was likely hit by the same flood mentioned in the Bible, needless to say. Almost all researchers in the mainstream dismiss such claims, some even counter that the boulders and rocks are not at all ancient ruins, they are, in fact, likely the result of illegal dumps. As well as the structures themselves, though, there also appears to be cart ruts. These run into the water and along the seabed, cart ruts can also be found in multiple locations around Malta and are, to some, further evidence of a location that was once not underwater. Furthermore, due to the location, and the writings of Plato, many of those researchers suggest that the ruins could very well be those of Atlantis. Number 7. The lost city founded by Krishna, Dwarka, India. Without a doubt, one of the most fascinating locations of underwater ruins is the apparent lost city of Dwarka off the northwest coast of India, not least as many of the ancient writings of the region are said to be accurate accounts as opposed to legends. With these legends in mind, many researchers believe the ruins could very well be of the original city founded by Krishna, what's more, although they are unofficial estimates, some researchers suggest that the city could be 9,000 years old, if true. This would make the location 5,000 years older than the currently oldest known ancient ruins. The discovery came to light between 1999 and 2001, during that time the National Institute of Ocean Technology was surveying the region. And rather than murky lines, the remains are clearly those of temples, columns, and stepped buildings. 
Mainstream estimates suggest that the ruins could be between 4,000 to 6,000 years old, other researchers, however, suggest the ruins to be anywhere between 9,000 to 12,000 years old, these dates would also match those of the alleged floods that are found in multiple creation stories around the world. Number 6 The Temples of Mahabalapuram, India the waters off the coast of South India are also of interest to those looking for underwater proof of lost civilizations. There, there is a continued search to prove that the apparent artificial structures in the region are the temples of Mahabalapuram. The discovery of the apparent ruins came in 2001. A group of Tamil fishermen claimed to have seen artificial stone structures on the seabed. When official dives took place, it became clear to many that a sunken complex was likely awaiting full discovery. Among other things, they found the remains of walls and fallen pillars. This suggested, to some, a time when the region was very likely inhabitable. The discovery of the pillars, in particular, might suggest some truths to the myths of seven pagodas that were said to have once stood at the location. Perhaps, if solid proof can be found that a lost civilization once resided in either Indian location, the two sites will corroborate each other. Number 5 A Stonehenge-like structure under Lake Michigan Maybe one of the most intriguing locations of underwater ruins can be found under the waters of Lake Michigan. There, at an undisclosed location, a henge-like structure resides. The discovery was actually made by mistake by archaeologists who were scanning the bottom of the lake in search of shipwrecks. However, when they saw their returns, they would find a clear henge-like structure on the lake bed. What's more, they would discover an interesting carving on a boulder of a mastodon. This further strengthened the notion of an ancient presence there before the region was covered with water. This would likely date to thousands of years before accepted records of humans are known to have existed there. Some rough estimates even suggest a date of anywhere between 10,000 to 12,000 years old. Once more, this date would fit in nicely with the date often given for a global flood. Research continues quietly at the location today. Number 4 Strange Carvings and Discoveries Under Fuxian Lake, China At around the same time as the discoveries off the coasts of India in 2001, similar intriguing finds were made under the water of Fuxian Lake in China. And what's more, legends of a lost sunken ancient city in the region were well known. The discovery came during a 20-day diving mission of the waters by scientists. The research team found around 30 buildings in total. And these covered a rough distance of around 25 square kilometers. They did, however, only manage to fully examine and catalogue two of the remains. Furthermore, they retrieved over 40 handmade stone relics, including tools, for further study. Even more intriguing, several carvings were discovered on large stones on the lake bed. Subsequent research missions to the area have seemingly added credibility to the discovery. And although there is little information on who might have lived there, it has since been referred to as a China's Atlantis. Number 3 Port Royal, Jamaica Port Royal in Jamaica is very much known to have existed it sunk into the sea in the early 1900s. The location, however, is still of interest to those searching for proof of lost civilizations under the water. It offers, for example, details of how a city can sink below the water, relatively speaking, overnight. This allows researchers, in theory, to better understand how cities lost to the water thousands of years ago might have met their end. The port itself came into existence in the 1490s when Spanish settlers formed it. It quickly became the largest city in the entire region. 
and many ships passing through used it as the main trading hub. By the 1600s, however, it had become a region known for vice and criminality. And more concerning, the main port of pirates from around the world. In 1692, a huge earthquake, tsunami, and several hurricanes severely damaged the port. It remained active, but despite rebuild efforts, it never returned to its golden era. A further earthquake in 1907 essentially finished the city off, sinking it into the sea. Number 2 The underwater city of Pavlopetri, Greece. It would seem the oldest sunken city in the world resides off the coast of Greece in the lost city of Pavlopetri. Although it only became an official find in 2011, rumors of it have existed for decades. In fact, claims of the lost city go back to at least 1904 when geologist, Fokian Negri, spoke of seeing ruins in the region. It would be a further six decades before DR. Nicholas Fleming appeared to prove Negri's findings, though. Fleming, along with a team of scientists from Cambridge University, would all but confirm the evidence of a lost city. The full-scale search of the region between 2009 and 2011 found around 15 buildings at a depth of around 10 to 12 feet. The estimated area of the lost city is thought to be a little over two acres. Further research suggests the region once also had a thriving textile industry. What's more, it was likely once a major trading route in the region. Whether the city might have existed for thousands of years before the estimated age of 5,000 years old remains to be seen. It is certainly one of the most intriguing aquatic locations on the planet. Number 1. The Pyramid City off the coast of Cuba. Off the west coast of Cuba lies the remains of a city, with pyramids. And what's more, the city in question could be as old as 6,000 years. In fact, some theories even suggest an age as old as 50,000 years. The researchers who made the discovery, using sonar devices, discovered that some of the underwater stone structures are around 400 meters in width and 40 meters in height. Rather than being natural formations, it is clear they are of intelligent design. And what's more, they appear to sit in a planned formation. In short, the discovery appears to be evidence of a city that was at some point in the past overtaken by the waters. Also of interest, are the apparent symbols and inscriptions discovered on some of the stonework. Not least as it appears to be an unknown language. Basic research, however, does suggest similarities with Aztec and Mayan symbols. Although further research is required, the discovery would perhaps vindicate the theories that a land bridge once connected Cuba with Mexico. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification button.